Hey you guys, uh, it's me back again with a Force Awakens Kylo Ren review. This is actually the Kylo Ren Unmasked, as you can tell. And this is one of those figures that I can't find anywhere. Uh, his whole wave, to be exact, actually. Anything that's coming into stores is uh, old. It's lots of overstock of old things, and they're actually clearancing everything out. So I actually did not think that I was ever going to find this guy, and I don't want to pay for him on eBay, so I just figured he'd be a lost cause. Until I actually read on um, Rebel Scum that some people had been finding his wave at Dollar General. So my mom came over this weekend and I was like, hey, let's go toy hunting. And she was like, what's that? And I'm like, it's where we go hunt for something. And I told her what it was and so she was like, okay. And so anyways, we went to several Dollar Generals around the area with no luck. And then we did finally come upon one that is, yes, indeed, had the wave. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll see the picture where I posted it. I posted it right then and there. Now, they were $8, which if you're in America, that is a little bit overpriced. But um, I could not find these figures, and so it was fine, honestly. Um, it was just a couple bucks over, and I didn't mind. And I think it's actually a pretty cool figure. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Enough of my rambling. Um, we'll start with packaging, as always. And I think that this has some really good art on it. I love it. It's not like a realistic picture, but it's a, um, I mean, it's not like a real life picture, but it is a realistic picture. That's what I'm trying to say. Hello. Um, and it looks really, really cool. I think they did a good job. Um, and then of course, just the normal Kylo Ren packaging. And then we have the rest of the wave there. And then he comes with this rocket launcher thing. So... Um, it looks like this, this is his part, and it looks like a big giant spear, and then this thing comes out. Again, I, I don't, I very rarely put these things together, I don't care much for them, but they make a cool play feature if you're a kid. Um, moving on to the actual figure himself, here we have Kylo Ren, and he does come with his, um, corrupted lightsaber that fits really well in his hand, um, and his skirts are a little bit different than in the original figure. Um, it's kind of drawn back to reveal what's underneath, kind of the wrapping on the legs. Um, so that's cool. And then you can see this leg kind of sticking through here. Um, and of course, the articulation is only like that. But he stands pretty good on his own. Um, now, I still have a problem with the articulation just because it is what it is. But at the same time, I'm kind of contradicting myself because I stand them up just pretty much like that in my shelf just because I don't have room to pose them so in the end it really doesn't matter um technically for this figure but another cool feature is this is removable I wish they would have done this to the helmets of the x-wing fighters or of the um yeah x-wing pilots um because they're just molded on it it's annoying anyways but you get this like little uh KB thing which just goes over his head and it looks like that I'll show you what it looks like on the back I forgot so there's the front and in the back. So it's pretty cool like that too. Um, I personally prefer, prefer it off and that's how I'll be displaying him with um, just his head like that because I think he looks super duper cool like that. Um, he also has a ball jointed head which is really nice so you can kind of get him to be like looking. I mean I know that his posability is limited but at least you can get him looking in the right direction so that's pretty cool. Um, and I think he looks pretty cool just standing there as is. He'll look n nice next to Hux or um, um, Captain Phasma. So he is a really cool figure on his own, I think. Um, super awesome still, in my opinion. So anyways, I mean, that's about it. The articulation is pretty simple. This guy was really hard to find. But I think that the detailing on his face looks really good. And I'm excited to add him to my collection. Um, and stay tuned because my next video, I have um, nine nubs. So thanks for watching, guys, as always.